Nej. Vi må også seks. Last index, four color omnath. Charles of the Void, holy shit. Let's go with Grazer into Saga. That seems solid. Get Saga underneath the Fari. Was this a Ren deck? Ren deck. Don't want to run out a an amulet into binding anyways and i'll just do that make construct then on top grab amulet copy amulet play amulet chamber explore come all over my opponent probably charles on zero yo whatever never say bad Better to make a construct into Tafari too. Cold of personality. He has yellow remand. In his deck. Could have Brasagio too. I think I'll make constra a construct. It's me attack Ren too. Holy guacamole are we Fetching a Triumph now, that is insane. It's the construct, holy shit. Probably gonna like wants to ping a construct with with the amulet. After prismatic ending. -ing. Prismatic edging. Uh, anyone prismatically edging in the chat? Can play Chalice Main? It's not that crazy, right? To play Chalice Main in a no one drop deck. In fact, sounds pretty good.
gonna yellow Raymond me. Come on, brother. Not nice. Ringing Terafi Fairy Bounce Pining, probably. No, well, that seems just worse. Well, maybe it doesn't. Nice, doesn't make sense. Does it? So by this point, my opponent's hand should be five lands, given that they activated Ren a few times. It's Poseju, but didn't bounce back Poseju, which seems odd. Holy shit, that's good. Have another BL remand. Holy shit. That said, I don't quite understand, like, not using Bosedju picking it up. We have Leo Luri Man too, do you? Then you, like, have Bosedju up for activation, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to win now. Ryan has outcringed me a little bit on most angles. Can say like the end with Poseidon the Grave. How? How? What? How come? How come it's not in your hand? Oh, because you return the message and you use the sorcery speed. Okay. Full egg. Abra, oh, let's play a Titan. Wow. Full egg.
use is it? This is so weird, I don't get that at all. Like, it's still a sign of just a gold hand. But even then, like... Okay, can you better the passage back to your hand? Makes sense. Still, I guess. Topped out? Holy shit. Losing to bad decks that will be at gain is just good value, eh? No, no, I'm not losing. That doesn't work. I don't have a Bujuka bug, main deck. Let's do this. Bounce binding, you're gonna bind my Titan? Holy shit. No, just keep binding. Yeah, well, that makes more sense. I thought about Vesuva too, a little bit. Holy shit, the sorcery speed of this man. Need to F6 like the Yu-Gi-Oh game, I guess. See, I have the Zuba available anyways. I can't win, no scoop. Three Bosadro. Bosadro spam is a rough angle. Does the barrel downs help with that a little bit? Assuredly. Well, he charges my packs post board too. I think it's not a particularly great strat, but depends on the on the player profile too. I think 4 greed is maybe a bit of an overkill, so I'll play 3. Because of the Bosiju weakness. 
holy shit, they should have made Bosseju unable to target amulet players. That would be perfect, a perfect design. Is this keepable? It's kind of bad. Might be against Kahira. Play two rings. Red ring ring. Two sun homes to give quadruple strike. Plays around Bosage turn two on the land to stone rain me. Plays wars around white remand, I guess. Oh, I keep misspeaking yellow remand, of course. Maybe bounce boss edge is better. I still have two more bounces so I can get the Vesuva back. In case I get my dried removed and Rot Farm hit with Boss Edge probably would be reasonable. Yeah, I guess that exactly happens. So if I get to play the ring now, I'll be insane, but I might not get to play the ring if I don't draw an untap land immediately. I do so. It's good, my friend. Command here. Bit bad to draw a forest, but also I'm not mad about drawing an untapped land here. I'll upkeep draw, or I guess now. Back when I was learning to play MTG with my brother, we figured that if a creature had two instances of first strike, it got double strike. Honestly, makes sense, TBH. Own ring. Prismatic ending, alright, glad. Glad to see that. He's a phenomenal control player. Yeah. Yeah. Rika Hira grabbing. Okay. Maybe Bojuka Bog was fine to exile this. Mm. 
Daniel, thank you very much for your prime sub. I appreciate your support. Daniel. Holy shit, it's Omnatos. Locust of creation. Plays out the Edible Sergio, holy shit. Drew Bosaju needs to card cast Solitude, perhaps. Nice crumbling vestige situation. Uh, actually, maybe not. Well, maybe yes. Sergio seems okay to have. I could bog the graveyard. Two Bosagio's gone. And I can use Bosagio to free the binding, anyways. Get me the ring. Also get the dryad. With Bosaju fetch fall I could shoot on that. Free Dryads, fetch Valakut Bog. Should I'm not. Glad to be finally catching the stream. I'm glad you finally get to catch the stream too. It's two cards in hand. What's he gonna do now? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Amulet next turn, twelve mana. Tefari. Bounce Zolidud, replace Zolidud, Excel Titan, die. Roughly speaking. Seems like it. Miss Landra, did I not play land? Oh, I did. I missed two land drops. Holy shit, I could have shot the Dryad and... Yeah, well, that would have been better to do. Somehow, somehow I missed that, yeah. Sometimes I wonder if I want to board in an endurance against Poserju looping, not even to target my opponent's graveyard, but to reshuffle my Valakut if it gets ever destroyed. It's pretty hard for the game to turn out in a way where that actually matters out, but I do have only one Valakud and I guess I can interrupt the Bosedru too. A free for body doesn't really do anything though.
Let's do science. Porous opening hand, kind of bad. Let's keep. Is Amulet the best non-interactive modern deck? Sure. Is Amulet non-interactive? Yeah, I'm turning to the end. I think I'd prefer Greed now. Then Saga next turn. No, I can bounce the Saga if I need to. It's weak versus Force of Vigor, I guess. Force of Vigor puts me in Elo Hell and I can never escape it. I can't Irgara run. So not too bad I guess. I don't know. Holy shit, I'll keep stop, fuck off. Ah Pierdole no easiest to Rosibane. Could have played around that I guess. No grid na Bosedżu lub to raczej nie ten. Nie przeszkadza, ale na żółte remandy coś tam. Coś tam robi albo Force of Vigor. No a Force of Vigor to tak sobie akurat, ale. Holy shit, this is at 7 already. Oh, the, 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 the. No, I shouldn't have this right, kurva, frajerze. Ja pierdole. Kto to wydrukował to gówno? Who even prints those cards, chat? It's insane. You printed it. Feels like we get a little bit up by this Bosejuren package. Yeah. It's a strong angle to have against Titan. Bad matchup, I guess, so a hate card is bound to lose to part of their plan. Thank you for your input. The true skill diff is whether in game one the Bosejo gets found or not, and unfortunately, this time it did alongside all three. Yellow remains, and that was too much to handle. And then I guess game free keep was pretty weak. 
and Vigor beat me up. Maybe if I play just greed and then I go Saga Dryad bounce back a land and the force hits just Probably leaves me with grids and then he finds Posedri anyways, looping. Excellent design, the Larvis. I appreciate your comment. Let's look at the new spoilers. My last two problems with Amulet were 2-2, two -two, so my Saki is extremely damaged right now by my 50% win rate across those two. Yeah. Uncheck. Everything but modern? No, you can't. Wow, that's awesome. Modern scheduled 01, constructed modern scheduled 2 2. But before that, I followed and I went 6 2 in the challenge and 0 2 in the qualifier. So it's good, my friends. It's good. I don't know what's that. Just for fun. Oh, I scooped it. I think I accidentally joined a just for fun match when I was trying to join a one player game to record a little bit for my YouTube short. I had no part in MH3. Did I have fun? No, I just exited immediately upon the misclick. Is it what I have to put if I want to just see the regular versions of the cards and no, not funny He's versions? Is phenomenal control Is player. unique. Click images, I think. No, I can click images. No, but I think it's is unique. So by spoiler date, I can do that or right, whatever. Absolving Lamasu, uncommon. You gain free life and suspect up to one target creature and opponent controls. Holy shit, looks so scared. Looks like a little bitch, Lamasu. Aftermath Analyst. Sacrifice, return all land cards from your graveyard, the battlefield tapped. Sorted by Rarity. Agruskos, Spirit of Justice, no longer looking like Jan Paweł II. Not at all. Agrus.
Alquist Proft Master Sloif. Free mana vigilance, ETB investigate, free free, sacrifice a clue, pow pow. Seems sounds great. Aurelius Vindicator, 4 mana 4 2, flying lifelink ward 2, disguise X, free V. When turned up, exile 8 other target creatures from the battlefield and or creature cards from graveyards. And when return, when leaves, return exile to the owner's hands. So it's like the seven mana angel. I feel no emotions looking at that card. Anzrak the Quake Mall 8 4. Holy shit, will people I need like you can't block this guy. Just take eight. Will people Play Lanoir Elf into Storm, Reckless Storm Seeker into Anzrak the Quake Mall in Pioneer. Discuss. Honestly, it doesn't sound too bad. Hot take Collect evidence is the perfect fix, Dale. Fetches don't help. Honestly, that is pretty smart, yeah. Thrill Seeking, Thrill Seeker, yeah, also combines Gruul, uh, lots of power tribal with Xenagos. Well, Xenagos is, is bad, and Thrill Seeker sounds good. With two counters attack for 10, then throw deal 10. Holy shit, what a deck that is. Mole God. Seeker's Chariot, forget it. 8 power. Four drop. Do not forget it. Grazer to block. I don't care. Can't block me. Conspiracy unraveler. Holy shit! It really can be blocked. Like if you, if anything else is attacking alongside it, and you even if you block it and kill it, there is still under combat phase with everything else that's left over, this is just 8-4 unblockable, as close to that as as it could be and still vibe gruel Anzrak the Quake Mall. It's like a track and much more. Conspiracy and Ravel 7 mana. Irrelevant. Delny Streetwise Lookout. Small creatures can be blocked by medium and big creatures. If an ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. Holy shit. Malia. Wait. Even voices ability is a triggered ability. Two or less power. Not this guy. Amalia. This. This. Holy shit. Even this. This. Oh, this too. And your small idiots can be blocked by Graveyard Trespasser.
D naught triggers twice. Holy shit, this looks pretty solid. I should probably try putting this into my Amalia deck. Play it for free mana, have it die to Bone Crusher Giant. Cringe and die. Double Ward, Double Sin Collector, Double Knight Errand of Eos. No, that one is actually not true. Knight Errand is for life, for power. Alright, we look at Delny in that list. Trata Delny Fugitive, 3 mana, 1 for death touch, face down, creatures you control, have 4 turn. We can exile, then you may cast the exile card without paying his mana cost. Cloak the top card of that place library. Might gain four. Holy shit. It never ends. Do you need your stuff to trigger twice in Amalia? Seems a little win more, perhaps. Hmm. Well, they need value cards of some kind. So, you know, you know. I lose plenty with Amalia, so I don't think anything is win more in that deck. Or rather, win more is good, I would like to win more. I read a article about cyborg, thank you for writing, thank you for taking time to read. Word on Amalia triggering twice probably matters the most, everything else is kind of whatever depending on the matchup. Holy shit, I think you are whatever. I mean, I'll go, I'm gonna add some... I'm gonna add Trouble Inspectors back to the deck. To trigger twice. And then I'm gonna draw a shit ton of cards. Brother. And then you'll see. Or two Thraben and two Novice Inspectors. Alright, this dragon is like 6 mana haste. I had it on my screen I didn't... I didn't read it. Massacre Girl, known killer. 4 mana. Did I do it? You'll have to be more specific. Why is that dragon not a detective? Holy shit. You're so right. Holy shit. Hmm. 
He's a phenomenal I found it. control player. Hi. This is the card. Thank you, Adam MTG. Holy shit, I found another one. I don't even know which one is better. You much already? Prakom. Prakom typically plays decks that are pretty good matchups for Amulet. Last in deck four days ago, yes, Kai Proves. Yes, 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 Kai, yes, Kai. Yeah, yes, Kai is good, is good. To revoke existence, holy shit. Omens, not in Pioneer. Alright, let's read Kaya, Spirit's Justice in the meanwhile, while he's showing up. Alright, he showed up already. Vitae. Let's keep. I don't care if Ren is returning, boss drew every turn. Actually, I do care. <sighs> Holy shit, the decks that are all removal that hits everything are giga pretentious like four color whenever one or more creatures you control and or creature cards in your graveyard are put into exile you may choose a creature card from among them until end of turn target token you control becomes a copy of it except it has flying Oh, it doesn't. I don't get what it does, but sounds pretty poor. Tell me, is like Zaptania. Blinking is an exile, right? And what is it? Was I on the play? I was on the play, I just F6 through my first turn. Hence the question mark. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't realize. <laughs> he moved to 5 though, so... It's like, fine.
PM. I'll make sure not to przeklikać my first turn anymore. How does Prowess beat Grazer in all seriousness? By casting a lightning bolt on it. Or by casting a lava dart when I block monasteries with spear. Sounds unbeatable. I mean, it's pretty good, yeah. Doesn't even have prowess. And by prowess I mean delirium. Prowess he does have. Check self. <laughs> I mean I'll block. Holy shit. Survived. Another creature then? No? Just didn't want to draw that card? Does his last list have... Breach? Doesn't even have Breach. Does it have unholy heat? I think it did. I'll get Valakud and to a Valaria West. Sets the Valakuds in play already. I have 19 life too, so not too worried about death just yet. <sighs> to the RCs. It's not unholy heat. Well, he could miss. 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 Oh, He's not a miss. Phenomenal control player. What do we think about the Mirror Lake stuff? It's fine to play, but also it doesn't change anything. Boros Garrison is sometimes bad, but it's not too bad actually. Could transmute play Titan. I 
I don't kill because Sun Home is in my hand, but. He wants to double block, he'll double block, that's fine. Oh no, that's Misha's bubble. Bubble. Lava dart into the graveyard. That is actually an incredible card. That's what you call babule. No dobrze, że tak się nazywasz. Fajnie. Oh, Frakom Dross. I take one. I pay. I draw ring, so I'll draw two. I'll play a ring. I draw. I play Gardenos. I transmute for Pactos. Win next turn. Canister wins. Holy shit, I can't believe that it worked. I'll board a Radiant Fountain. Explosives on one is pretty weak in my amulet deck, but we could have one. And we can submit. Looking at like that previous sideboard, we might go for endings on my amulets and I have less amulets. Well, I have F6 my turn one before. How are you doing, Mr. Kaneki? I'm doing pretty well. F6ing through my first turn. And stuff like that. Playing a prelim. Later on I'll play a second prelim. With 
four copies of Graveyard Trespasser, the best card in Pioneer that I can never beat. And Inti Seneschal of the Sun. Holy shit, if you have Inti, you can pay for Ward and then you get a new card. With the first best shell Dreda. No best, best, not so. I hope you feel the joy in the same amount as the card caused grief. Holy shit, I hope so. But it's gonna be hard to replicate. The amount of times I have been utterly demolished by... Yeah, near news. Worst, worst... Uh... Worst uh, timeline. Should Phoenix play in T? Phoenix is pretty bad at playing exiled cards like that, I think. So I think the answer is gonna be mm, right not. What is your favorite misgendering that Polish MDG players make? My favorite is Oko. And I am so. Yeah, Oko. So, talk to you, move him. To Oko. Hmm. No, no, bro. Nie no, shoulder, to, no to nie wiem. Shoulder to potwór jest taki jakiś, nie? To nie wiadomo, ale jak jest na przykład. I guess Avacin. So Avacin be my ulubiony. Trying the free dried build. Holy shit! I play free dryads. I I didn't realize because it feels literally exactly the same. And it's impossible to tell. Maybe like a passport joke with no Phoenix against Graveyard Hate. I think Phoenix is a combo deck. And like I guess passport you might want to play midrange, but Crackling Drake is the the card you would like. As a threat. I think NT too small. It's like good in any deck where it actually makes sense, but it doesn't actually make sense in in that deck. Holy shit! Existence has been revoked.
If I draw Urza Saga, I die. He has two spells in hand. Holy shit, what I draw. One, two, three, four, five. So I die to a spell and his hand is two spells. So that is a little bit problematic. All right, I die. You know, if he has an Alpine Moon too, then I'll bring two Explosivos. And I'll, I mean, And one Alpine Moon. So I'll add the bog to water down my draws. Toto Africa, Jesse Bog, Bloch, Bootleg. Insane music. Is he not playing Breach? He seems not to be playing Breach. Could maybe trim one Saga, but... He has one Alpine Moon, that's not worth it. Need to be fast against it in aggro deck. Well, maybe he plays more Alpine Moons. Perfect. We have the amulet, we have the EE. We assumed Breach was the main reason to play Prowess, question mark. Seems like you were wrong. If we draw a green bounce land, I can play the onion ring next turn. And get its existence revoked. Alright, still want to drape bounce land. Dawaj to kurwa Alpiniusza, a ja nie dobiorę Londa i umrę w chuj i będzie mi się grał. Let's go. Or is that a Sprite Dragon? It is a Sprite Dragon. I good since they remove our amulets. It is no cap. Like good in the games where they where he removes my amulets, so yeah. It actually is. How good is the construct? I believe roughly not good at all. Holy shit, we are taking heavy damage. I 
Thoughts on map for bounce land. No, that's bad. Can someone help me? I have a 200 word essay on the Roman Empire due tomorrow and I haven't started it at all. Holy shit, chat. How often do you think of the Roman Empire? Stef Pump baked peers with vents instead of foundry open. Why do you think you have the authority to tell my opponent what he should do? We're gonna sack one explore. Could we have this turn went with copy ML play bounce and bounce itself play explore cast titan? I probably should have went with that, yeah, I don't know why. I kind of blanked on that line. Cause this is removal for amulet is an event instant speed, so. I absolutely should have done that. I just got too focused on EE. Free red mana into the mana pool. Ask Giganta, holy shit, the stress. I am a memer, I meme the words away. Repeat themselves. You of the new Wincon for now. It doesn't matter which one you play. I played the stronghold because I'm comfy with it and it makes me not add handware back to my deck and stream decker doesn't work with handware too well and people keep asking if I'm actually playing no haste lens or if I'm actually playing handware lancer.
much at all. The song bangs. We cast Mr. Beast. From here, do we time out? Uh, no, I have 11 minutes. Mr. Beast would take max 5. Meme the world away. Prowess mostly a good matchup, I believe. But also not a really popular, not a particularly good deck either, so. Chat, prepare for a for a joke about the church. Jaren corrupted bishop. So just a bishop, right? Ha 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 ha. Please laugh in the chat. Thank you. When you play Titan and Paper, do you visualize the trigger so it's more like MTGO? Have you seen the Netflix series where the ginger girl plays chess? That's literally me. Can Mr. Beast crush the client with that many amulets out? I never had Mr. Beast crush the client. Maybe he can. What is the difference in leagues and prelims on MTGO? Prelims are scheduled, leagues you play at your own leisure. Prelims cost more to enter, but they give you QPs, qualifier points that let you play in the showcase challenges later. Queen's Gambit, yes, that's that's what I thought of. Whenever one or more other creatures die, draw a card. Actually, not whenever. Preacher of the Schism. Two power works with the new double trigger ability here. So Kaya plus two server two exile a card from a graveyard. Plus one, make a flying spirit. Minus two, exile creature. Target should you control. And other player is up to one target should that player controls. Okay. Kilox's Vault Strider. Collect evidence six. Cruise itself, crew 2 2. When attacks, you may cast a spell from among cards exiled. Mm -hmm. 
the bookie, thank you very much for your prime sub. Also, you have to pay for the spell. Ragdos, patron of chaos. Six mana, six, six. six. 43 years per comp. Will I reach 44 or die trying Monkerham? Non-land, non-token. Holy shit. Melek, Reforge, Researcher, 5 mana, Weird Detective. Twice number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. And the first one costs 3 less, okay. The Pride of Hulklade, 11 mana, 2.15, holy shit, what a funny card. Toming Wielder of Law, Affinity for Planeswalkers, 2.4. Doesn't do anything. Trostani, three whispers. Gives death touch, gives vigilance, gives double strike. Three mana, four, four. Holy shit. Thank you, Giba, for your continuous support. Tangled in the heart of Vitugazi, they guard their secrets from eager ears. Undergrowth Recon is gonna revolutionize Amulet. Three mana four for that can give itself that was like kinda slaps. Holy shit, Trostani in Amalia. That solves Amalia once again. You company into Trastani on top and you attack for eight. But first you give it vigilance so the Wandering Emperor cannot kill Trostani, so they flash in the Emperor anyways and they make a Chum Blocker. And your Trostani was actually useless. Sounds good. Vanifar evolved Ligma. Sandergo Recon gonna revolutionize Amulet like Spelunking did. No, much more. Vanifar looks like a jellyfish, not like a noose. Or rather, like, you know, jellyfish frills patterns. Maybe it's the same thing. Cloak a card from your hand. Cloak a card from your hand. I, I like this version. No explanation. To cloak is to manifest, but it's actually disguised, so it also has word too. Vain Ripper. Ripper? I barely knew her. Holy shit, it's a six mana vampire. I hope you have your Sorin Imperious Bloodlord ready to. Sleeve chat. I guess I am about to put it into play with Sorin's minus three ability so hard. Honestly, it is pretty pretty strong. Probably Ward sacrifice a creature. Flying and whenever a creature dies, target opponent loses two life. You gain two life. Hmm. Well, but it probably isn't any good. Voyard, Jaws of the Conclave. Whenever Voja, Jaws of the Conclave, Elves draw a card for each world you control. Put X counters on each creature you control. Right, so, okay, it's Commander. Analyze the pollen. So this is like traverse. You collect evidence eight and then you search for any creature. Probably roughly as playable as traverse, which is to say a little bit. Arc druid's charm. 
search for a creature or land for ggg put into play or hand then shuffle it's really hard to cast but maybe it's good to search for a lotus field Hey, this Raf. This all bit Raf, yeah. Word, collect evidence for. Holy shit. So you play Rest in Peace and then you play Axpen Ferox. Attack them for four and it's unkillable. I have to say, I always. This has word too. Word, word, word. I always have a little bit of trouble parsing word when I read cards with word. Because it's collect evidence for, but then it's your opponent having to pay that cost. So like a more intuitive interpretation would be that it's word and effect. So it would be like if it's targeted, you may do this to prevent the uh, effect. But like, of course, that could be solved by reading the explanation down here but just always means I have to think a bit is X Ferox also going to revolutionize amulet sure why not it very well could Aurelia the law above because she flies holy shit that's so funny Assemble the players. Holy shit, and we are the players and we are assembling to play. I think a case of the locked hotbox is really going to revolutionize Amulet. I was assuming it actually will not, but I did say that. Just in case it's gonna revolutionize Amulet. Control seven or more lands. You may play national land on each of your ten. No, that's not good. You don't really control seven or more lands. Yeah, to solve a case, you have to end the turn. With. With the. If unsolved, solve at the beginning of your end step. If you have the. Thing. I'm missing a word for that, but you have to control seven lines to solve it at the end of turn. So it's always takes till the end of turn to be solved and met the requirement. Holy shit, thank you very much. Yes, you have to meet the requirement, move to your end step and then an ability triggers. I don't know if it's an intervening if or not. Uh, Bowmaster into my ring. Okay.
canister is good whiskey. Holy snap. If I only drank whiskey, I would have understood that. Canister is a good MTG player to an extent. Plays Bosaju. That's nice. And very humble. Yeah. Kill that goose. Holy shit. Even in Pioneer, even in Modern, we are not gonna escape the shitness of this card. Well, that is a helpful draw. This ring here, kind of poor. Kill that goose is the best mana dork. Prove me wrong. You just proved yourself wrong. Both an engine and a mana dork. What even is an engine in the context of a Magic the Gathering game? Sure, that's what you want to hit? He's Maybe you hit the slash from control player. instead? We'll be playing Titan at Ghent. Send Maybe some not. luck my way, PLS. Vestige Clutch. Holy shit, I can Vestige. I hadn't even realized. That's so good. Vestige Valaku, I just fucking kill him. Just murder him. An engine is a car that generates value every turn. Hmm, interesting to frame it this way. I think he, he would be better off possessing the stronghold, but he probably loses anyways because I just Valaku two monsters, play Grazer, Valaku the third one, so he has no monsters, I have Titan play. An engine is a contraption that power a device. Any contraptions in the chat? It's got two grazer, one ring. Should have probably just beside the Urza saga. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he let me like. Yeah, that was weird. I think Amulet is really important versus, versus them too. I should say one the one ring. You, you really think you have the authority to tell me what I should and why I shouldn't say? Remember to use contraption. Holy shit. That was such a spot on comment. Q. 
keep Kers totem. Wszystko by się udało, gdyby nie. Hmm. Jest Glorybringer half an engine. Holy shit, well put. I'm playing a Son of Erek, which seems nice. I played Son of Erek before. It's, it's good. What do you think of Titan, the current modern meta? I wouldn't recommend to play it unless you are uh, a great gamer. Next please ramen engine. Ramen and ramen and ramen. The fleece engine. Holy shit, he has the might against my curse totem. I don't know if like never playing this saga is particularly good. He has two cards left in hand. Well, I mean, I don't play too scared. He doesn't have anything, so. What is this attack? It's gonna bow master me. No, not even that. Ooh, now I have double totem. Like, I don't have anything, so I might as well wait. Now I have Totem protected with Gardens, so just can't break through it. Which I think that is the reason to play the Totem, is that you can assemble Gardens Totem. Or rather, you never copy, but you just sit on the 2 mana. Any land I want to grab with the expedition? Oh, he played out a Bosergio. What is in your hand? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you want to core the Yogmoth? That doesn't do anything to core the Yogmoth. So like I played very slow this game, but also I guess he's gonna fetch Shouldred if he has Shouldred postboard. It's unclear. No Shouldred, good. But playing Alibo Sergio is really good for me. What's of Vigor the Totemos? Copy the Totemos. I 
And not able schedule? Wow, that seems really weak to play out that Bosseju earlier to get the Yogmov soon, but then like the Yogmov doesn't do anything. Seems weird. If I draw a Titan, I wish I activated my map. So probably I'll just get Saga immediately. Like I could get a bounce, could get a Tolara West, but I'm so far away from that. So I'll get a Saga to have five fives. Simple. Simple. Another reason to keep Bowmasters in as Yogmoth is that it's a card that is fully functional against the Totem. By the way, I have an amulet. For some reason, I, I thought I don't. I can just steal 16, force a Chumlock on the Halfling. No, I already played a land, I can't deal 16. Imagine if opponent didn't play that Boseju, then they also wouldn't have Yogmoth in play, so they probably still lose. So probably the best thing to do is Gardens and Bounce Land to have all the protection on the cast totem. And let's not bounce my third green source to not to lose to Fulminator. Well, I guess Fulminator can be activated, so we can bounce. But just in case, I'll bounce Slayer Stronghold. Vizier de Poissons. Je mange les poissons. They can chort for Magus, that is true, but I'll dodge that. Like, pro uh, probably your opponent doesn't play Magus, most people don't. I mean, lots of people actually do play Magus in weird decks for no discernible reason. Like, why is Rhinos playing free Magus? Like, get the fuck off of my back. Why are you hating on Amulet so hard? It's a good matchup for you anyways, right? Don't you always use that logic? And it's like... I never play mirrors, it's just such a tiny percentage of the meta, so why do people like even put those Maguses in their decks? It's a little bit of a mystery to me, but it's just a downside of being easily hateable. Because Magus is a wizard, yeah, I guess that's just the thought. Blood spatter analysis, holy shit, Ragdos midrange and And Pioneer is gonna be insane. ETB, free damage to target creature, opponent controls. Whenever one or more creatures die, mill a card and put a bloodstain counter on blood spatter analysis. Yog players still coping that Amulet is a favorite matchup for them, for sure. So you melee card and put a counter, and if it has five counters, you sacrifice it and return a creature to your hand. Holy shit. Yeah, 
York players still coping that Anglia is a favorite matchup for them. Holy shit. Jean Julio, I definitely hadn't watched a misplaced ginger stream of Yogmoth against Amulet Titan in a while, and that probably is something I would like to do. Exactly, yeah, exactly the same thing. He said it's great and lost three matches to Amulet. What can I say? It's just an inconsistent deck. Case of the Crimson Pearls, Pools. Discard a card and draw two. End of turn, if you have no cards, you solve, and then you discard and draw two every upkeep. Barren multiples. Probably awkward to trigger because you can draw two lands. Your bar check. Can only wish for that to happen. Especially like I'm wishing for that to happen because that would mean an easy matchup in the finals, which would be advantageous. So yeah, this is pretty cool, pretty awkward, slow. This instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Two mana pieces, anyone? Holy shit, two mana pieces, it would be insane. This is Hamen, so Ragdos can't kill it. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, draw a card. But you need to have cast four or more instant and sorcery spells this turn. That's a lot. And it is really bad with in multiples. With pieces, so it doesn't quite work. Probably sucks. Commercial District, Mountain Forest, Survival 1. What do you think of Commercial District, Land, Mountain Forest, Ender Stop, Survival 1? Good, bad. Will you play a single one in a modern deck occasionally? Does it stay solved next turn? It stays, sol it stays solved forever. So... It's just an enchantment. Whenever you cast a spell, you draw a card. Well, instant sorcery spell. I think some decks will play one-offs. Yeah, I think so too. You probably will choose not to in most decks. Is there 10 of them in the set? It's Dog. And people play Triumphs. In one drop decks it's pretty bad so like you need to not be playing a one drop deck but you know let's take Rhinos as an example a deck that skips turn one often and that lives and dies by hitting land number three I could see a commercial district or maybe the steam vents one or well, like whichever one fits the colors the best you think probably district so you can play an island on the next turn. And then you, whenever you have a fetch, you just fix a little tiny bit of your hands that wouldn't hit the third land. You just counterbalance by drawing this as exactly your third land when you need to. Even one drop decks sometimes EOTs fetches anyways. Yeah, but I'm thinking of like the time when Merktide splashed Prismatic Ending, for example, for a tiny bit. And I tried playing a deck like that for a little bit and playing the Triumph in Merktide was horrible, felt horrible to draw. So I didn't like that, so... You know, that would make me lower on a commercial district, but... And Rhinos seems good. Why does Gruul have a commercial district? It's because... 
Actually, I don't know. It doesn't really map well onto the colors to me. You can look at the entire cycle. There's some the curve along there. Mountain Plains is an elegant parlor. Ah, yeah. Mountain, the chair, and plains, the floor. Why opt for Explorer over Azusa? It's explained in my FHQ. FAQ. Hedge Maze. All right, fine, if you insist. Lash Portico. Did I forget to translate the name to English? Lash Portico. Meticulous Archive. Plains Island. Thundering Falls. Shadowy back street. This is all 10. So 10 rare slots are taken by those lands. Or limited. How many rares are there? This is kind of this is kind of a lot. Are the survey lands better than the cycle lands? Perhaps in blue. Like the only place where I've seen the Cycle lens is in blue white with the blue white one. Irrigated farmland. And Lush Portico. Well, I played the scattered groves in Amalia, but that was because I draw my entire deck of lands and I want to have the one cyclone, but it doesn't actually didn't actually become relevant in practice and the top land aspect of it hurt me, so I probably cut it. They put the rare lands in the special spots, so they don't replace rares. Makes sense. So there is gonna be are there gonna be gates or anything like that? Like a gate slot and then it can be a hedge maze. I guess they hadn't spoiled gates. It's gonna be a scene of the crime slot and then sometimes it's gonna be an undercity sewers. They are better and modern than Pioneer and Standard. Here, let's tweet it. I'm gonna tweet it so hard. This card will make Rhinos tier one in modern. Send tweet. Uh, that's how you say it, right? Makes it hard for them to exist. They do have the land types. Might be useful in some ways. Like, for example, one of the ways being leyline bonding. Connecting the dots. Whenever a creature you control attacks, exile the top card of your library face down. Discard your hand. Sacrifice. Connecting the dots. Draw all of the cards. So all of them are Bomat Couriers connecting the dots. Cryptex seemed interesting for Pioneer to Mana Mana Rock, but collect evidence free. Good luck with that. Cryptic Code, free mana. Plus one, plus one, and can't be blocked. Return to its owner's hand. 
clog the top card of your library and attach cryptic code to it. I don't understand what it does, but sounds pretty shit. Doorkeeper, Thrull, 2 mana, Flash Flying, Artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Holy shit, I've seen this card yesterday. And why do they print this shit? Like, can't you just, I don't know, print like an exploration or anything that would be good in amulets? No, it has to be another shitty hate bear that screws you in. Artifacts now too? Gets rid of my amulet triggers? Gets rid of my protection triggers? I have to kill this creature to play. Holy shit. At least I can Valak with it. But the next one is gonna stop the lands, land abilities too, and then... Wait, artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger, so amulet works. Holy shit, it's okay, it's fine. It's it's okay then. Because it's the lands entering that trigger, and artifact is just, it's just that the amulet is an artifact. Yes, yes, it's good, it's good. But I got mad already, so... Drag the canal. Holy shit, I went to the to the dentist yesterday and it truly dragged on the canal. Actually, I lied. It was not a canal... root canal type deal yesterday but I did go to a dentist and I thought it's gonna be really hap really funny if I say it this way because like root canal procedure at the dentist could drag on and be unpleasant create a 2 to white and blue detective creature token if it die, if a creature die this turn, you gain two life. Survival two, then investigate. So let's say you control, also control an enchantment that says creatures die immediately. Would you gain two life? Survival two, and investigate. No, 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 the ability would say creatures die immediately and in parenthesis even in the middle of uh, a resolution of an ability. No, no, not like Elish Noan, because that would be state-based actions. Let's gather that we can what we can before the Golari tidy up the scene. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, investigate. This ability triggers only once each turn. Holy shit. This line of text ruining my fun so hard. Investigating costs so much anyways. To crack the clues and I can only get one. Judith, Carnage, Conozer, cast instant or sorcery spell, you choose one. That spell gains death touch and lifelink, or you create a imp. Well, you should imagine you cast Judith, then you untap and cast five opts in your Grixis opts deck. Then you make five imps. Fugative Code Breaker, 2 mana, 2 1 prowess haste, this guy is red, 
When turn pays up, discard your hand and draw three cards. This is insane. It draws three cards. Zone is center of the weeb. 5-4 Menace. When enters, you may collect evidence for. For what? If you do, create two spiders. Sacrifice four tokens. Survival two, then draw two, then gain two. Feels like it doesn't do anything. Maybe, but it's ATB or attack, so maybe it's solid. I don't know. Collect evidence four, so you have to... Oh, I don't know. No idea. Krenko, Baron of Ten Street. Legendary creature Golbin. Hey, sacrifice an artifact, put a candle on each Golbin. Whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay red if you do create a Goblin. Bros Krenko looks like an entirely different Goblin every iteration. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, it does. Makari the Lucky Grot. What's that? Warhammer 40k? Orcs with guns, so probably... Whoa, there's a gun on an MTG card. For there's supposed not to be any guns in my game. Killog, Special Inverter, Yashina Artificer, War 2, 7 mana, not reading though. Lamplight Phoenix, 3 mana, 3 free flying. When dies, you may exile and it and collect evidence for. If you do return it to the battlefield tapped. Okay. Leyland of the Guild Pact. If Leyland of the Guild Pact is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Each normal primary control is all colors. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. Alright. Let's... Let's build a deck. Twelve... Coffers. Instead of twelve post. So let's use this as the proxy for the ley line. Cabal coffers. Then Vesuva. Then Thespian stage. Then Nictus, why not? Then Sunken Sita Del. Can run Leyline Binding through. It's literally free. Don't forget the coin deeps. How is my land going to end up in my graveyard though? I think I'll actually do just that and I'll forget it. Voila, good. Unplayable Modern No does nothing itself. Start with six cards in hand or draws playing later. Still gets screwed by Moon. Okay. But what if we always... Always draw it?
So turn one citadel, turn two coffers. We have two mana. Hmm. Right, turn two Nyctas. We have four mana. That's bad, sounds better. No interest in one Urborg, okay. One Urborg. They play Ring and Karn. And Karn, yeah, Ring and Karn as the random payoffs for our Amp deck. What's this? Witch King of Angmar. Holy oh, shit, try reading that. You complain about the ring, but at least it is legible, even if hard. This? This just isn't. Gemstone Caverns. Oh, I'm. Sure. Bosejo seems like a must. Why do I care about Bosejo? Hmm. Pick your poison will be a card too. Holy shit, pick your poison sounds insane. Okay, so what? May play have my two for green fixing, bro. I'm gonna open with Leyline. Tyran for sure. The Valakut probably doesn't make much sense because you're not gonna get to six lands, but it Valakut is for resiliency actually. I guess Titan makes sense. Yeah, whatever. Backup? Why do I need backup? Escape. Sure. Well, we need six lands in play. Do you think Titan Amulet Titan is making wizards not print explore effects anymore? I think if it does, then they are tiny little bitches. Sign of Draco is also pretty strong. No, Sign of Draco doesn't do shit. Titan then cavern. I have a I have the caverns already. It's here. What will I do if the ley line gets destroyed? Bro, they get two turns to destroy my ley line. They they will not. He's a phenomenal control player. A. I add four grazers and we can add like what's insane Ulamog. Let's add four Ulamog. Dead 
Despian stage looking kind of weak, so we can cut it. Finding real battle with no ley line opener. Okay. Let's cut the Garuk, then we have a nice 444. One swamp to fetch with Bosergio. Doesn't even have to be a swamp, could be any basic because it doesn't matter with Playline of Life for us always. Bros, like, but we have all the mana because we have the ley line in play. What do you not get? Let's play planes. Because it gives me a planes is the best because it's cast line binding. So I can ley line binding the moon. Yeah, that's the best. This deck needs Reclaimer. You kinda need specific lines down to actually go off. I mean, I have co four coffers and four Nyctos, I'll draw one of them. Put on the new Dryad Ley Line. Bro, I just broke it right before your eyes. Look at the screen. That's it. That's the solution. Sky Sovereign to destroy Magus. Crucible of Worlds to destroy land destruction effects. And Snaring Bridge. Tormod, sure. Worm coil. Leveler. Stone Brian. Coating. Leyline mining doesn't exist. Oh, it exists here. I have it. Twenty four lands is enough with so many explorer type cards. Good point. Right, I'll add one Yavimaya because you cannot contain yourself. Chatters. You can get powder rings with Karn? You can, yeah.
Too many Vesuvas. I'm banning you. If you say that again. I think trees feel the servers better than map. You are probably right. Oh, it's, okay, if somebody doesn't get that ley line of life for us is a proxy for the ley line of the guild pact, then they don't deserve my attention. Let's play our round of the prelim. No. Pray not. No, definitely not. No. Oh yeah. Holy shit, what a hand. Did you see my tweet about the card for infects? No, why, why would I? I've never seen a tweet. That is scamos. Ah, right, click. I'll click your thread. Legacy in fact, multiple copies pitched to force, turns on days to bounce an ink move to hand, and begin on ink move is plus 10 plus 10. Holy shit, and begin on ink move plus 10 plus 10 is pretty funny. I have to say. That is pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> Holy shit, I love that this song we are listening to has the crowd cheering. Let's listen to it again. It's my favorite part. JK, I'm actually gonna skip. I play 4 mana grief. Oh, not even that. I play Joel Jet. Alright, no outs. I died. Good game. Holy shit, can't wait to 2 2 my prelim with Amulet. Honey, uh, your daily 2 2 prelim with Amulet is in order. Yes, I'm coming. Don't you get like 10 QPs for 2-2 two, two, though? You do, but it is not a result that satisfies me. I'm only satisfied with a free one. Submit 64. Well, I see someone skipped sideboard guide. Breeding. 
I do have 534 points, but I just need more. I need all of the all of the points I can get. I submit 64 because I think cutting any single of those cards makes my deck worse instead of better, so I'll just keep all of them. And I only add this member out of necessity. Not because I like to have an out to Magus, not because I think it's strong to draw. So I actually want to draw it with the 3 and 64 frequency and not 3 and 60. I swear it makes sense. Already brooded portable head. It's already, it's already done. This deck is insane. Turn one coffers, grazer, Vesuva coffers. On top. And then what? Is it supposed to be the new one? No, of course it's Leyland of Life Force. I just really don't want my Ulamok to get countered. That's just my urge. Portable head. What do, what you don't get is that there is serum powder in this deck, so there is no hands where I don't have ley line. It's literally a bizarre situation. I'm even fine against turn one scum. And I have a turn three win through a Fotsis. So I beat Magus. Oh no, you have to cut Saga to beat Magus. Turns out you actually don't because you keep a hand like this and you went through. You beat Magus by dodging it. Or rather by winning before it resolves. I need to pee.
No kurwa mać. Charles. And my point really sat there and thought, of, thought about their play for an hour. They have Magus. They have the Might. No, but I have the map. They didn't do anything. Should I respect Magos? Or is it too much of being a little bitch? Because they're just not gonna play it. They're gonna play like a fable instead. Let's play to win. This reeks of no land, eh? Likely. Well, I could also just Blood Moon, that would be a bit annoying. Holy shit. Fetch, play Magus of the Moon. Ooh. Sort of shitty interaction. Let's go, scam trick. Or another Magus in a turn. I don't think I have a draw that just wins me the game. Their hand might be griefs, terminates. Probably no undying effects, more magus. Alright, bros. Holy shit. This is pointless. The Charles lined up pretty well for my opponent this game. So we got served our daily 2 2 prelim experience. Can't wait to do really well over the weekend in Ghent. Holy shit.
what percentage of players in these preliminaries play amulet. I don't think it's the levels that justify the... the amount, but... because I, I never play mirrors. But 6.2... If you played an Inferno Titan this weekend, would you call me Madman or respect the hassle? Magus not only makes your mana red, he also, it also reduces the amount of mana you have. You won't have 6 mana to play the... The card. Like, if you take your lens and bounce your other lens, then... 6, six real lens is so much. I mean, I probably would lose to Blood Moon the same this game. But, like, just like, generally, like, if it was only Blood Moon, I could not play this member, then my deck would be better. More consistent at being a Titan deck. So, that's my deck good? I don't think so. A little bit. Probably better than it was with NT. NT can be pretty impressive, but it's pretty bad when the game is not grindy, I think. How good be that dragon is called? Nothing, because it doesn't exist. Glorybringer is 5 mana. So, you know, I am being stubborn and playing Amulet because I was assuming that people will rebound and they just will not play as many Magus, but holy shit, they do. But eventually they have to stop. And I... It's gonna be this weekend, I promise. I mean, I could potentially won that game with double well like with a single if not for like the chalice back lineup control player it was actually pretty close all things said Belgian Legacy Cup Finals, holy shit. Good for you. Catham, thank you very much for your Prime subscription. I appreciate it a lot. Heard you're registering Titan, so your Sunday should be free. <laughs> Holy shit. He's a phenomenal control player. Free as and you're gonna have time to visit. Yes, that was the meaning. Floop the banana. Thank you very much for the prime sub. What else do we have scheduled for today? We have uh, 
the Pioneer Prelim, which I joined with Trespasser City, the deck. Which looks like this. The reason why I chose to play it is because whenever I play against the card Graveyard Trespasser and Pioneer, I lose and it's extremely strong against me. So, the only reasonable reaction to that is to play for Graveyard Trespassers myself and see, experience the other side. It's also the Giganta build with no shield red because I'm a shield red hater. Even if it's a strong Benslayer Angel, then it is still a Benslayer Angel, and Giganta is much worse than a Benslayer Angel. But it's also a companion. I also appreciate the anti Croxa synergies, Copter Croxa synergies. The 10 2 drop curve that this deck suddenly gets instead of being a 4 2 drop deck. So that means you can play an aggressive 2 drop all the time, like every time on turn 2. Which seems like a good spot to be because this deck is always good when it attacks and it's less good when it doesn't attack. The new soul sister for Amalia, is that the case? I've seen it. The case of hey, a free ham. Holy shit, that is very funny. A chaque fois qu'une creature arrive sur le champ de bataille sous votre contrôle, vous gagnez un point de vie. À résoudre, vous avez gagné au moins 5 points de vie cette tour-ci. Résolvez, sacrifiez cette affaire, les cartes des créatures dans votre cimetière acquiront. Vous pouvez lancer cette carte depuis votre cimetière jusqu'à la fin du tour. Holy guacamole, but it's you don't actually gain five life in one turn. So like I have an issue with that, like do you? You don't really, like, to gain 5 life, you need 3 life gain effects and to play 2 creatures, that just doesn't happen. And, you know, it's like in enchantment, not a creature, so it doesn't work with companies, so you would need to restructure. Well, it stays resolved and it gains the ability to sacrifice itself so you can cast creatures from your graveyard this turn. But I fail to be impressed by that effect. Do we get any new comments? Prepare to hear from my lawyers. Holy shit. Checkmate. No lawyering, if you can't see my tweet. No witnesses. Two white white. 
Each player who controls the most creatures investigates. Then destroy all creatures. That's an impressive effect. Outrageous robbery. When coming falls, there is always violence. Holy shit. That is insanely funny. I think you should compare that white case to extraction specialist and since it's not really played anymore the case is also not needed. Fair. Target point exile stop X of the library. You may look at and play those cards. I think it's worse than draw cards, right? If two people have the same number of something, they both have the most. Both have the most. To determine the most, you determine the number of creatures in play that each player controls. And also, each player who controls the most creatures investigates hints at the fact that multiple players can have the most. Profits eidetic memory. ETB drag card, you have no maximum. Beginning of combat on your turn, if you have drawn more than one, put X counter, where X is the number of extra cards you have drawn this turn. Holy shit, my Arclight Phoenix is gonna return and get five plus one plus one counters on, on it each turn. Pyrotechnic Performer. Two mana, this guy is red. Wow. Relieve the past seven mana. Oh, whatever. Sharp eyed rookie, two mana, two to vigilance, ETB. This evolve plus investigate. Steam Core Scholar. Draw two cards, then discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery card or a creature card with flying. Hmm, that's weird. Weird detective, holy shit. Is this card solid? It looks solid to me. Taza, opulent oligarch. Does something. This I can't read, but it's 2 mana 2 free and has 2 abilities, so probably irrelevant. Toshimir Midnight Slide, Lifelink, 5 mana free 2. Holy shit, Voya Fence Stalker, a 5-5 five, five with Trample. It gets bigger. How long before the Pioneer event? It's in 1 hour and 11 minutes. Maybe I'll play a Pioneer League. Much before that, whenever a wolf you control attacks. Impressive Toshmir, impressive. Occur <laughs> among us. It's like the game. Are we back? Hey. What's up with that connection sometimes? Hmm.
I need to order food. After I order food, I guess you can play play match or two with Amalia before the prelim. Inea is sabotaging our streamer. Inea is. I do not recommend. Well, I mean, probably impossible to have internet that works always. The Kamasala or Nandos? Nandos. Yeah, actually you can get Nandos in Poland. It's not doesn't exist. Oh bosh. Oh bosh. Should I keep this hand against Oh bosh? Did you enjoy it? Let's keep. Yeah, but dot dot dot. Holy shit. They did not enjoy it. Yeah, but what? Good keep. Good cat does not empty that happens during intervals. Holy shit, I actually do. 
but also just want to have a watt storage. I must be making a mistake then. Did I ever try the Marmite? Actually not yet, but I will one day, I promise. But it is true that my VOD channel uploads just everything, which... It's probably bad for... Consuming those specifically. I like my new Pioneer deck. Medium, but I kinda do. What are Amalia's bad matchups? Graveyard Trespasser, Blue White Control, Five Color decks. Good Phoenix players. Mirror. Quintorius. So that's no good matchups? Yeah. It's like amulets. Lotus Field is a favorable matchup for Amalia, but That's like my one solace. Take out ordered. Anyone in the chat taking out? Would I order Mr. Streamer? Chicken. What would I say is the best standard deck at the moment? There seems to be a pretty diverse meta of decks that are all winning. I don't know. I can't tell you.
Did I put in instructions to a message in chat when I arrived? No, I actually didn't. So I put in a message that told them to bring it in two hours. Assuredly, that will not happen and it's going to be there as soon as they receive the order and make it ready, which is going to be much earlier and I'll get tilted. But yeah, I have played no standard. I really couldn't tell you what's the best second standard because I am in no point of authority to really give you anything. My draw is being kind of mopey. So if my opponent's draw actually contained a single land past the first one, then I probably would just die. If they had a remotely functional draw, thankfully they didn't. Now I guess Obosh, do I want to Knight Errand or do I want to Court of Calling? One Fiddle Push and Haywire Might and get lost. I think Sentinel of the Nameless City is it's pretty big against them. Dina is probably not needed at all. Scoozy is wrong. Seems pretty poor to me, so. That is 64 cards, so I have put myself in a unsolvable situation. Let's play free knight errand. A cat Kellan on the draw. And like two innkeepers. What does that play vial if it were in the format? Oh, well, maybe. The theory behind a good Lotus matchup would be being faster, yeah. Can Mulligan for a fast skill pretty hard with Court of Calling? And then I'm only at the 20 damage, but... but it seems like Pile on 2 would be pretty good in this deck. And the 1 drops are pretty bad. And like putting your creatures into play all at once also seems to be beneficial. Because you get more triggers that way. And you can concentrate your creatures on, on the same turn to combo. Yeah, Vile seems pretty great for this deck. I think. Maybe not. You still flood, like, you would still flood a lot with it. Well, let's play the voice. This song goes really hard. Stomp the voice. Ha, huh, what if I chum block now? Well, nothing, because I will not do that. Seems like a waste to chum block. 
can play free for blocks the soul scar pretty well could have also played better on and keeper to gain a life setup for more life game but that seems weak also we get to build up a pile of maps with the sentinel Solska is a 3 4. So they play Kumara, they attack me, and I guess I take it and kill Chandra, so it's not too bad. And if they want to protect Chandra as a champ block, or even they just can't. Alright, seems good. They'll play Bone Crusher with a counter. We could play Veteran Apparition. Kill Chandra. I don't have an Apparition. Ice Age coming. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do this. Like that. Soul Scar doesn't attack through Sentinel. This gains me the most life against the Monored Burn deck. This kills Chandrola. This attacks face. If I draw a Wild of Walker, I'll gain 10,000 life and win. No Amalia needed. I can play a Sentinel next turn to gain two. Explore, explore. Exclamation mark deck. Let it be a mystery. I'm not proud enough of the list to show you. Ice Age coming, Ice Age coming, let it Big Bone Crusher Giant. Kid A uh, predicted Eldrazi Winter. Holy shit, Kid A is the most important album of our decade. G2 Lava Runner. Was Kid A even this decade? I sincerely doubt it. Night Run of Aeos. Oh, let's draw it. Sounds playable. Oh, 
Ice Age coming, Ice Age coming, oh, I'm fucking coming. Oh, I'm coming, oh, I'm coming. Mono Red player complaining about downtime between the rounds. Lul. Well, a funny joke is actually. It's, uh, sure, let's say it's just funny. Yeah, yeah, great job, McQueen Sauce, on being very funny. You have made a great yoke. I really appreciate your humor in the chat. My elemental, no. They should print a creature that would be an elemental and it would be called the elemental of surprise. Like the element of surprise, but elemental. It probably exists already and that's why I even thought of that. Arson has it. Alright. That's why I thought of it. And you're gonna tell me that AI art is stealing when I literally thought of a, of a joke because I seen a Harson card two years ago. Tier 6 minion in Battlegrounds. This minion can triple with any elemental. Holy shit. Triple up, turbo turbo. Canister in America, 70% of marriages end in a divorce. Is that also true in Poland? I don't know the di divorce rate in Poland, but 70 sounds pretty high. Yes, Chrono Atog, it is a draw. Oh yeah, you have to put enough triggers on the stack. That's true. And once you put enough triggers on the stack, it's gonna reset the game or like recognize the loop. I think it took me like three minutes when I played against Lotus once and I decided to make the game a draw because it seemed like I will likely lose on the next turn and I could have only drawn the game but not win it. So then I spent like three to maybe five minutes to stacking the Wild of Walker triggers, then it ended up with a draw and we started game one again. 
No, actually, we. I think I drew game one, and then I got to play three positive board games against Lotus. I guess, yeah, it has to be two walkers. I might have say 20-20 already, and idly bigger. If there's a paper draw game one, do you get to sideboard? I don't know. I just started thinking about that, I don't know. Let's force a draw. Holy shit, we did not. Yeah, with one walker you produce less triggers and MTGO doesn't the doesn't realize you have like only a few triggers. Doesn't realize it's a loop unless you have a shit ton of triggers. I played against an Amalia player once in paper and they told me put the combo and play during your end step I win and I made them play out the combo and they got very mad then I killed Amalia and they left the tournament early. Holy shit. You just ruined that kid's day. You proud of yourself? What if I told you it was a dad there with their child playing on a Nintendo Switch? Wow, next you're gonna tell me that the child played Minecraft. I think you just need to deck yourself, yield two triggers and it should recognize the loop pretty easily. Oh, because it skips the yes no question with Amalia. I'll try that next turn if it happens, but sounds good. Should should lag more than enough to loop it. He's a phenomenal control player. Oh, the six fire spouts in the sideboard. Those are for the Magus matchups. Magus matchups. For sure. Nothing solves Magus like six fire spouts. Da Vinci, this modern prelim marks my third modern prelim in a row that ended up with a 2 2 score. What did you lose to besides Zomnat? Well, I'll let you guess. It starts with M and ends with. Agus of the Moon. Nice warm up before the end. Yeah, it's gonna be so good there. This should explain why the Lotus matchup is perceived to be good. Dina milled, now just find return to the ranks and doesn't actually change anything but it gives me mental Feelings of safety. 
what open has greater than combos, then I'll next turn infinite life drain them if I find return with this Amalia. Uh, from what I've heard, Gand is supposed to have around 1k players, and I don't know how 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 around that means like what is gonna be the actual amount if it might be 1k maybe 800 still pretty similar right so yeah if they play grazer i try to return get walker and keep her Dina. Did they auto sign people for up for Gans? I don't think so. I don't think I'm signed yet. I have to. It's like half the magic players in Europe. Lol, Lamau. As Borden, board out Sentinel and Apparition, Borden 2, Fort Size, and 2 Sin Collectors, and Archon of Emeria. Holy shit, the mapping is perfect. What about scavenging who's in the matchup? You can exile their Balagate recovery targets. Holy shit, I'm immediately adding scavenging who's instead of Kellan into my deck. You're such a good call. Thank you for your help, chat. Actually, voice seems bad too. Let's have Kelan over voice and Uz over voice. Voice doesn't do anything, so I guess that mapping is not that good. <laughs> Sin Collector is gonna show them, I swear. Holy shit, Forest Bosseju in my Lunark Veteran Fotsi's hand. Prosperous Innkeeper actually kind of fixes that, but let's move for something that combos a bit faster. This combos giga fast. Let's pull back those two, maybe. I think it makes sense. Might draw a temple garden. What if invasion of Gobakan? Holy shit, you have solved all the matchups with one card. Now Amalia has no weak matchups. Add the cyborg card and Mulgans in the way. Which one? Kept cord. I mean, a collector. Are you waiting on the cord or not? Can get a two drop. I can get the bot anyways. Bot chest. Because I don't play the bot. I could get the walker now, just get a big Amalia and return to the ranks. So like if they sweep the Amalia, I I've returned with four mana, which is not enough to kill. No, actually I have a veteran in my hand, so this is enough to kill. No, I had need to one more mana. Let's wait with the cord. You can also keep a boss schedule, so it's hard for them to win. You can answer lockdown, 
Path of Peril is a bit not nice. So in response to Path of Peril, I guess I will combo. I have a reservoir, I cut the reservoir, so actually would be nice here, but we're gonna go for return to the ranks. But yeah, that would be the spot where reservoir actually is based. Probably still worth to have one in the sideboard for the like matchup like this. But I have drawn it too many times against Ragdos to not be giga annoyed by it. Is one of selfless spirits stupid or ultra stupid? It's not ultra stupid. It's fine, but also like half the sweepers get around it anyways. I hope I get to return. Ready 12 power, 13. Two Bosergius. Nice Tobat Company. No, I'm not a little bitch. He's a phenomenal control player. Hi. See, return to the ranks. There is no good utility land for Amalia. Yeah, for example, there is no Boseju and there is no Takenuma. They don't actually exist. Thank you, Runcht, for your subscription. I appreciate it a lot. Them drawing breeding pool. It's pretty good for Bosaju purposes. So let's make sure if I play this and I play. Well, I can return to the ranks and I can make it 2020 Amalia this turn. Or I can keep up a Bosaju. Might matter to keep up a Bosaju. Next turn, better on return to the ranks. The voice is Dina. Hey, Dina. Zabijesz tego skurwysyna? Yes, I will. Thank you. Did we get any new impressions on my deck list? Have to check the impressions. 20 retweets, 85 planes. Studio. If this turned out to be real, it doesn't seem that fun. But chest, well put. Wow. Add MTG Vixen. Holy shit, MTG Vixen. Any Vixens in the chat? Lotus Field enters the revealed card zone. Okay. Reveal those cards, Broski. Plays Otawara. Three mana. Grazina. 
Holy shit. Am I gonna get comboed? I could boss edge with this, hope that it's like island is in hand, but otherwise I give my opponent one extra mana, that seems bad. On average. Oh, they're just passing, okay. Dina, Amalia, Walker, and Keeper. Is it always kill? I guess if like I literally hit 18 non lands, then it actually doesn't kill, right? So it's not even a guaranteed win, like 18 non lands, so but if I if there's just one land in my top eighteen then we win. Let's see. Oh can't draw anymore. Holy shit. Yeah, I think you lost. Yeah. Lost real badly. Wpływ inteligencji Irena Nosorożce. Jaka jest twoja interpretacja? Próba zbliżenia się do myśli Kanistera może być arogancka. With pigeon hole principle. What's the pigeon hole principle? I have 25 cards, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 lands, so I still had 10 in my deck, so it was deterministic. Good. What happens if your opponent turns 0 double your ley line opening hand with force of vigor? Then I join another match and hope it's not gonna happen in the other match. What happens when you explore without cards in library? You have explored. Still. You put a counter on your creature, I guess. And you trigger your Wildgrove Walker. You don't have to put send tweet at the end of your tweets. They will send without it. I know. But it's a stylistic. choice which makes it so that the tweet I don't know sounds a bit more cringe I don't know what it actually does like I never got what it means really so can I translate to English too let's try The influence of intelligence one on rhinos. 
What is your interpretation? It might be presumptuous to try to get close to Canister's thoughts. Holy shit, it is so presumptuous. Yeah, I don't know if it translates like... It should post translate well across languages. So yeah, the problem we are playing with Ragdos. I don't know if I said that. But we're playing with Trespasser City because Graveyard Trespasser haunts, haunts me. And I die to it a lot. And I also play for Reconner Bankbuster because I, they are strong against blue-white control. Or at least that is my understanding of of it, maybe they actually aren't. And maybe I'm just foolish for thinking that Bankbuster is any good against control, but Duress plus Bankbuster, how are they gonna beat that? When I back it up with Fabulae of the Mirror Breaker right afterwards, I think the short and truthful answer is that they just can't. The other side. The pool beats you and took the test. Cramp, M2 Gate, La Fabue, me too. No cyborg cards for Amalia. I have a rending volley and go blanks. But now that I think of it, everyone seems to have a Ferocidon or Knight of Dusk's Legion in the sideboard, which actually is really strong against Amalia. Let's try about it, it's fine. Is the giant double red? It is double red. I can't play it in my Giganta deck. Many minutes till the prelim. All right, I'm go gonna grab some tea. See you.
Hi. With 13 more minutes, I'll play a bit of Portalos because I don't want to start another magic match. Because then I will force myself into double queuing. Reading uh, books, so not a moral. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just know the hardest one, Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah. Thanked it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. Yeah, that's Steve. That would be actually extremely funny. So you should consider that just for you. Turned. So that's just what I was doing, just reading uh, books. So not a moral. Anyway, just finish the last one. Just know the hardest one, Machiavelli. Do not know what all the fuss was about. Understood it perfectly. Have you read that one? Yes. Yeah. Thanked it. Well, on with the test. Wish there was more books. Well, there's not. the box. Oh, I was gonna be jumping up. Hmm. So it jumps from the pipe into this, onto this. I grabbed it. Are there multiple ways to solve the same puzzle? I... Kind of? I don't know, I don't... Didn't really seem so. Like, all the ways was to shoot portals and then use them. Holy shit, Molten Core warning. Press any key to continue. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that? Nothing, nothing. 
Oh, sorry, I could have sworn you said something. Holy shit. Just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me, um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give me... Ah, oh, bless your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology! It's complicated. Uh, we can't hurt the big old god face. What is happening? So... That seems to accomplish anything. And by anything, I mean nothing. If he's not getting his solution, Euphoria, we could be in a lot of trouble. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. Okay. I understand everything now. We go here. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us. Okay, we can do that. Ah, oh, bless your little primate. What does brain. this do? I'm not actually in the room with you. I like technology. It just blocks. Okay. So I can block the lasers. But how do I intercept the block? We have to think with portals. Well, let's go here. Holy shit, what? What? So if I go through that wall, it just removes all portals. Good to know. Don't mind me, just moving the old test chamber a little bit closer to me. Um, out of thought, maybe proximity to the test solving might give us stronger results. What was that?
So you can do that. So we have to move the box around. Which is fine. Have the box now. We want to get the box over the edge of the defense. Oh, your little primate brain. I'm not actually in the room with you, am I? Technology, it's complicated. Uh, you can't like this. big old god face. I also would like to gain some momentum which I am struggling to see a source of gain momentum to jump over here and then jump down to this that should be doable oh I don't need momentum I need a wall yeah I guess I don't actually want the box here. I will just jump with it. Holy shit. Come on. got the right idea as always execution code be touched up a little bit ways. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? Nice. Save and we go on to play the Pioneer Prelim. Because it seems like it has started. Pre-purchase gold road. Holy shit, I'm already preparing my wallet to spend all the money on Gold Roads Elder Scrolls Edition MMO RPG Online. I'll have so much fun playing that game.
Graveyard Trespasser is the best card in Pioneer. Let's title the stream like this. Holy shit, I guess I'll mulligan. So that's how it looks on the other side, huh? Holy shit. Haunted Ridge. Really good land. And we are up against Restless and Torridge, so... Let's go on and play. <laughs> oh wow, Mutavolt. Peak Mutavolt. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I'll just hold on the Fotsies. I'll just play on the Dredge into Harvester. Holy shit, that Mutavolt jump scare though. The Mutavolt is in the deck because I net decked it and. Oh, we drew NT. So NT is until the your next end step. Strong card. Castle of Mutavolt too. Mutavolt with Croxa and Blood Harvester is indeed a little bit of an interesting one, but I think we also have an Urborg in the deck, so that should make up for uh, for that. So I'm probably interested in Fort Seizing now. Which means I play Inti first, not Harvester, but it's fine. Fort is Inti, just double spell. Veto. And now my opponent is gonna get destroyed by Inti Seneschal of the Sun. This variant of Inti is missing the extremely nice Triceratops. Mount. Which makes the card look kind of worse, I think. What is my favorite dinosaur? It's the Plodocus. Mutavolt looking pretty good now, huh? Looking pretty solid right now, bros. What do you think about replacing Trespasser with Preacher of the Schism? Friend, I think you haven't read the title of the stream closely enough. They did play the first Supreme Verdict pretty freely. I could attack with Mutavol, that's 5 damage, that's probably too weak. I think I'll just play Trespasser. The alternative would have been to attack with Mutavolt and Harvester. Which maybe would be the line. I 
don't really want to blood away my bone crusher doesn't seem too effective and they really need a supreme verdict again to make a favorable exchange and otherwise it's pretty tough for them they can't really deploy a planeswalker and next turn activating muta vault is really strong my favorite dinosaur is yellow hot because he's old holy snap that's humorous Temporary cockdown. So I get the option to loot. Otherwise I can't loot anymore. So do I am I interested in throwing away bitter triumph? Or the bone crusher giant to drain with the trespasser attacking with it. The Triumph works against the Manland, works against the Fari. Even helps against the Emperor, so does Bone Crusher Giant. I think I'll let Lock down and just activate Mutavold and then stomp them. Also makes it night so the trespasser hits a bit harder. Croxa. Well, this one I would loot away with my blood, but can also discard with Bitter Triumph. Now, I'm not sure if I want to eat the harvester but I will because I think it adds up they're gonna take five to go to eight we flip next turn I have four two two lethal so that's why see the graveyard glutton is just just kill them they have no outs anymore like, what are you gonna play? Like, Hero of Dominaria? More like... Pass priority, not even use it. Holy shit. Fair. <laughs> I'll take my chance. Hmm. Stomp face. Now I'm going to perform some absolutely vibes based sideboarding against blue eyed because I don't actually know how to do that against this deck. But I have four Reconner Bankbusters and three duress. Blue eyed can sideboard random monsters ranging from. Regal Caracal to whatever else. So I'll keep Bitter Triumph because it kills everything. I'll cut Power World Kill and pushes. I'll probably cut two Bone Crusher Giants too. Stomp is good in small amounts. It matches up okay against the Wandering Emperor in some spots, but drawing too many seems bad. Cut copters. I've been thinking of doing that too since I have the four bankbusters. You can also have Collagan's command. Go blank. The copter doesn't really dodge sweepers with the lockdown. How do I like mind rot here? This is my probably my first time playing the matchup, right? so I don't actually know. I still have an extra bone crusher. Mind rot on the draw, maybe. Okay, I just have one mind rot for so-called science. And let's click submit. 
Minerod Exiles Deluge. Oh, I'm playing four Trespassers, so no Deluges are gonna withstand for more than half a second in my opponent's graveyard. So, sure. Hopefully I'll draw a 2-drop. Holy shit, Haunted Ridge is insane. <laughs> I, might, I, I will draw the 2-drop though, and I will take a counter magic spell to play Fable on free to resolve it. Phenomenal control player. This is my one in a month chance to write something that the streamer is guaranteed to hear, so I have to make it count. Say good card against my deck. Take the Typhoon. Okay, Serian, thank you very much for your supportage. 18 months is two pregnancies and it means a lot to me. Several so Drakage looks really bad against my seven discard spells, individual threats attacking you deck. So, indeed, a puzzling choice. And it probably has been sideboarded and it wasn't there to begin with, but. Because they technically play sensor. Let's play it uh, then. I guess it's a combo, you make them settle the wreckage and then you... Fields... Combo... Question mark... Sounds... It sounds, I wouldn't say it sounds good, but it does sound. It does make a sound. Next turn, I just have to play either Black Cliff Cliffs or Haunted Ridge. And as long as I manage to do that, I'll be fine. It is tempting to take Shark Typhoon and then... Play Trespasser next turn. Because it does make me feel smart if I do that. At the same time, it might be just wrong because the Typhoon doesn't do anything. And the Fable is going to be just stronger immediately. And it's going to let me build up resources better. I mean, counter spells are redundant. Well, do you see a redundant counter spell? In their hand, I don't. Change the equation seems really awkward against Ragdos with the Tres. Ah, oh, maybe not that awkward. It counters everything besides Trespasser and go blank so it's just looks awkward against trespasser who's the best card in the deck imagine a way that they run more of them sure but they can draw the counter spells as soon as i resolve my fable right which i'll do right now fable 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 Bustin, 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 bustin makes me feel good, feel good, feel good, feel good, feel good, feel good. Bustin makes me feel, feel good. Feel good, feel good, feel good. So we actually know their hand. Three of the cards. 
Probably this card two haunted cringes. Seems good to have more manlands. Don't necessarily want to play two creatures either. Too much into a sweeper. I will trasp some ass. Exile the change the equation. Shadow and war. Oh, oh. Is it time to cycle and make a 1-1 one, one shark? Is blue control really bad against Ragdos? Actually, it sure seems like it. It's better to play the Harvester here into Saddle because Trespasser is harder to remove if you play during the turn they settle. I settle for nothing. But actually, I don't know. So that with just the gluton. Hey, I came to see cards getting exiled from graveyard. Anything like that there? I have just the perfect stream for you. Look at what's happening here. Oh my god. How can you kill a god? White, white, white. A ganjo. War discard a card. Holy shit. See, this card is insane. You can't do anything. It's got to settle. Obviously you do. I have no cards as I crocs at them. Preacher of the scissors could never, exactly. The scissors would never be preach, preached. I bet my opponent was looking to hard cast that shark typhoon, but not on my watch. If we had crocs at them first, they wouldn't have killed our beloved graveyard exiler. Sure, but I'm actually glad they did. What brand of watch do you have? I hold no watch. Next turn, copy, copy Hive. I will for the funds. 
Croxa is the best card in Pioneer. Croxa too. Dig is a pretty good top deck. How come they have so many cards in their graveyard when I as graveyard trespass their cards? Seems like a bug. Is copying Hive better than copying Croxa? See, you can't copy Croxa. Another target non-legendary creature you control. Well, Croxa is legendary. It's a very silly suggestion. Will I try the community maps after I'm done with the main story? No, I will move on to Talos's Principle 2. Have I ever copied Bankbuster? I think I might have done that once in Sacrifice. If you copy Hive, it comes in as a land, not a creature, right? That is actually correct. Solving these and then watch ten at once. Get a more sort of concentrated burst of science. Oh, on a related note, I am gonna need you to solve these ten times as fast. Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, alright? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Well, I've been enjoying the Exorcist story along with the puzzles. I think it dragged on for like the first section of the game was like five hours of nothing before. It actually started being puzzles. Did I know that the Wetley Vice actor is the co-creator of The Office? Holy shit, you mean the award-winning sitcom The Office? I didn't know that, but... I also don't really enjoy sitcoms all that much. I very rarely watch them. The award-winning American sitcom The Office. Holy shit, I was actually extremely sure that The Office was a British sitcom and now I have just realized it was not and I am very confused. Next you're gonna tell me that I don't know. Nothing comparable comes to mind. Does it kill me? It seems like it.
am I trapped? Probably not, if I think with portals. I should try Ghost Runner after this. Same thing, except you're a cyborg ninja and you have to jump off the walls and dodge lasers to cut people in half with a samurai sword. That actually sounds extremely stressful, so I'm not sure I would like it, but... Thank you for your recommendation. More action, less thinking. That means probably means it's too much action for me. up with that this box looks weird and different can I curve the laser doesn't seem like I can curve the laser what is the purpose of the laser then I guess I can cover the laser to stop the Swirling. That would be the... Reasoning. There's a button here, alright. I need to set the box to press this button. Just gonna turn on other laser right here. To do that, I do need to get to this box. To do which I I do this. And that's not enough momentum. That means we should think with portals. Okay, I'm thinking with portals right now. I do this. I go all the way up here to the bottom. And I click make the portal here and I go... Here and with the newly gained momentum I get to grab the box. Now, with the box in my hand, I get to put a portal underneath the laser source and put the box right here to press the button, which moves one of the platforms below, but it still leaves the second platform right there. And I need to lead the laser towards this one. How do I guide the laser? Maybe it's the funny box in the background which seem to have many colors and would seem like something that would refract lasers. Now, how do I get to grab this box? I need a little bit of 
extra height to grab it. I could do a similar trick to what I've done earlier. But I would use the box. Lock the laser. Turn off the blue source. Put it, a portal here and a portal here. Use the jumpster. Grab the box. We got it. Now this shooting through this enables more laser ness. Puts the box here. Holy shit, I just remember that GLaDOS is a potato on my portal gun. This place is self-destructing, you idiot. Was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for all time's sake. Two, like one or two more tremors in there just for fun. Oh. Morning. He's a phenomenal control player. Thank you, Saint Nutritious, for 52 months of supporting. Have I played Baba as you? Not yet, but it was recommended to me by numerous chatters already, and I have heard of the game before. I will likely play it at some point. I then keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, but just keep on testing. What does this do? What does it do?
I know roughly how the gameplay of Baba is you looks like. It's that you like rearrange letters on the screen and like then they say the box is blue and then it actually becomes blue. Which is holy shit. Just insane but Okay, so this would turn off the lasers. I have to assume. Hmm. Like Silk Song. Well, Silk Song hasn't released. And never will. Holy shit. I shouldn't have moved the box over here. Or should I? was the puzzle game where they mess with perspective it was super liminal yes i played a little bit of it and it was extremely unfun i do not recommend it it was a lot more trying to wiggle with the stupid perspectives and a lot less actual fun so a big anti-recommendation from me. 
Hmm. So we good? No, no, not yet. No, no. Holy shit. You find it just kind of about perspective. Never heard of it. But once again, super liminal, the worst game to ever have existed. And also, like, barely had puzzles, just like kind of showcase the. Maybe it has puzzles later, but it felt like it barely had puzzles, and it just kind of showcased the. I'm a potato. Mechanics endlessly. And that's all it did. All it ever did is showcase the mechanics. Endlessly. Obi Wan episode. I, I, I. Thank you very much for your support. Um, right, How I played ET the extraterrestrial on the Atari. This game is probably much older than me. And I never would have played a game older than myself, like Magic the Gathering. So. The answer is no. But I also know that it's the game that's known for being the like, worst game ever or something like that. And I've seen some screenshots and it did seem pretty bare bones to say. How are we doing? Pioneer Preliminary, McQueen Sauce. I urge you to finish your match, McQueen Sauce. So that we could move on with our lives. I have not tried this belonging combo in Pioneer. I don't fully understand how it works and I don't really understand what is it good at. To play the classic puzzle adventure game, I have no mouth but I, and I must scream based on a critically acclaimed science fiction short story. I have no mouth and I must scream. Holy shit. That f sounds terrifying. 
Great. Yeah, just uh, getting a, a test ready for you, obviously. Who else would I be doing it for? No one. So, let's see here. Exit, exit, exit. I never exit. wish to have no mouth there is no screen. exit. No problem, I'll just, I'll make an exit for your test. All in due time. Fast, Portalos, then... Uh, Talos Principle yeah, too, because I really good. enjoyed Perfect. Talos Principle, yeah then. I'll be honest, after you told me to turn that beam off, so I thought I had lost you. I'm poking around for other test subjects, no not there, time. still dead. But, oh, I did find something though, reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. I've seen the graphics of Obradin and I am not sure my eyes could tolerate that. Have I tried the classic puzzle game Tetris? No, I haven't. Can you sell me on it? Holy shit, we have found a source of orange gum. Only a tiny bit. Only a little bit of orange gum. Hmm. How do I splurge the orange everywhere I know I know how I know everything now It says curva now. Okay, I guess we can do it a bit lower. That works. Give box. We have the box now. Now I put the box here. And now we have the laser. So we laser the cam all over the... all over everything do we? no, no, we take the box Holy shit, that's beautiful. It's cool to see the different puzzle parts interacting. Yeah, without Kappa. Holy shit. <laughs> I think that wasn't all that there was to be. Alright, we'll finish the puzzle later. 
Your next round is incoming.
Holy shit, Fugland talk again. What is that sumptuous meal? It's kimchi can once again. It's this chickenos. And it also is fritkis with some sauce, bacon, rice was the name, but it includes many tiny objects. Mm. Are you mull on the draw? I wish I would have kept. All right. Holy shit, the Haunted Ridges. I really don't know if I should be playing them.
He's a phenomenal control player. I cannot think of anything as cringe as waking up and discovering that you are in a simulation. Well, actually I can. It's anime. Anime is cringe. Bonus meme, ye.
now that I'm finally nourished, <clears throat> I can commit 1,000 of my 1,000 percent of my attention towards this march and demolish my opponent. Давай то шедерка. Holy shit, no shader. He'll never recover. Unless... Maybe you should play a go blank immediately. And Frida Fey actually refuels the graveyard. They would have three cards, so they can't because you can can you not take a card, put an instant sorcery, so you have to put, you, you have to take the card, so. Probably should have go blank, because they can't cast cruise then. And I have two go blanks, and they could cruise now. Oh, they cruise with no phoenixes, like. <clears throat> Water with no wetness. Next turn I'll show them with the go blank. One issue with playing Giganta is that Lightning Axe is actually a pretty bad card against Phoenix, right? In in Phoenix against Ragdos. So making it so that they don't need Lightning Axe is beneficial for them. Because they could just skip Axe and they can just have Impulse plus Small Sweepers <clears throat> Or a Braids What else was there? Fire Impulse, a Braid, Fire Impulse Let's play the Yargle Push Holy shit, I'm readying my first go blank to to make them go real blank quite soon. Is it possible that I want to discard anti Seneschal of the Sun? It is likely to trade one for one. It is not a trespasser. Not a Fable, not a Croxa. Croxa.
name me bad luck to match up XD. Ragdos midrange. Check fucking mate, bro. Feeling owned yet? They discarded Steam Vents and Treasure Cruise. So Goblang was like discard five. Spell Pierce, they seem not to have Spell Pierce. They kept on top. They keep a Drake. Holy shit, it's worse, that's a Ledger Shredder. You see a pair of Ledger Shredders. He's a phenomenal control player. I think I'd rather keep push for a Drake than <clears throat> spend it. Holy oh, shit, they got me. Oh, yeah, whatever. I guess I didn't need to attack. No, I needed to. I have to special summon Croxa. See what they discard. They discard Bro and so they have a spell. I don't know if I should be go blanking them or not. We play five mana cruise, that is actually okay. <clears throat> um 
They probably would keep a country over Brotherhood then too, because and here killed their two shredders. Crackling Drake. Oh yeah. Two looks at a Pierce. I think I would upkeep push a shredder. They don't have Pierce. I got Giga rewarded chat for my patience. Go blank, pass and make tokens was maybe good also. Maybe. Except that it clearly was not. No conniving on my watch. Hi, you think Boros Pia is a good deck for Pioneer? Not really. I don't have much respect for the Boros Pia deck. I feel like it is a little bit weak. Put a spear on your mouth, I wish. <clears throat> Holy shit, the picklock punk prankster failed to find a treasure cruise? That is a bug in the matrix. Play the Boros Convoke, it's a better deck. Honestly, I'm not sure about that. The Boros Convoke meme spreading was a bit surprising to me because it was pretty clearly a little bit shit all the time, the entire th time, but maybe it wasn't. Top three decks in Pioneer. Ragdos, Scam, Amulet Titan, and Living End. Holy shit, two Phoenixes. How do you level up your limited portion of the PT? Who's to say that I will? I think you've got it confused here, buddy. Are they DOB on board? I hope you will. Holy shit. That is a bit of slander, but happens. Go blank. Five attackers each lethal. Hive question mark. Yes, I'm using my hive to produce an extra attacker. Because I will not risk my actual reflections. Oh, 
Holy shit, Coxa is so good. Coxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. What they discard if they go blank? Spells? They discard a Spiral of Canal anyway, so Hive was killing them too. Activate Hive. Block, block, block. Wait, I mean, Hive was lethal anyways, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They can only block 4. So both lines produce lethal. I will play drafts. That's how I'm going to level up my limited game. Well, I guess I will, don't know if I will level it up, but I will play drafts. Holy shit, it's yellow hot raiding me. Does this kill Quintorius? No, I guess my opponent is not playing Quintorius. I keep... What are you playing in Ghent, by the way? I will play Amulet Titan. Today I got my third 2-2 uh, Prelim in a row, which fuels me with optimism. Really tempting to stomp it, but I don't have too many lands, so I'll just push and play Harvester. I have a shit ton of removal anyways. <clears throat> I probably will get a an opportunity to stomp this game still. Mm. 
It is a bit awkward. He plays a creature with protection, but I have to remove us so I can like wait a little bit too. And need to hit my land drops. He might also miss the third land drop himself. Or I can use Harvester to <clears throat> kill the Virtuoso. Would really like to loot away the second copter, but holy shit. At least he casts a card that's good for me. Oh, I stomp. Four cards left. <clears throat> Schmuggler's Copter looking excellent so far. Grab Giganta, I like that. Just let me draw an untapped land. Okay. Croxa is a pretty big giant to stomp with too. I can discard the other copter pretty freely. Just need to draw lands. Holy shit. Two creatures now. Should I rather draw all lands or all removal? All lands. All lands. Land for Fable now. Kurva no. Ziomeczki. One land arena. What is so hard to get about that? Land Habit The Ragdos experience. There is nothing Ragdos specific about that. Offset courage value discard. <sighs> All cars that do basically the same thing, Dirac's experience. Do you mean smuggler sculptor? And by do the same thing, you mean the cars do nothing? Because holy shit, it truly does. Mm. 
can wait to board out uh, this freshly unbanned card. As my point plays yet another Illuminator Virtuoso. Cool. They have Giganta, but they also have a non land. It's colorless, though. Are you sure you want to board it out? Yes. What do you think are the odds that my opponent has <clears throat> monstrous energy drink rage? <clears throat> Holy shit, the odds were slim, but we had the five percenter. Truly unfortunate. Now in 2.13 seconds I remove the smuggler's copters and I'll add Duress This is all I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I submit. Why is Trespasser so good? Holy shit, bros. Have you never played a March of Pioneer in your life? Have you never played against Graveyard Trespasser? If Ragdos had an ambitious farm hand card, I might actually think about playing it. Struggling to hit land drop number three is not ever a thing I want to deal with. Holy shit, we have a cutter that's too good to fucking miss his third land drop for forever. Sure, buddy. I want a two drop with the same ward cost as Graveyard Trespasser and will be cooking. What if the ability on it is being a two two though? <clears throat> Time to draw a land. Scry bottom. Maybe it seals the pathway is actually a mistake. 
I should have kept still full of springs. <clears throat> I probably should be able to tap one like I will rarely need double red and my I might need triple black next turn if I draw a duress. Villain's hand is legionnaire. Rage two cards. Now as a free play, I should have blocked the Swift Spear. Hmm, I mean that might incentivize monstrous rage too, so <clears throat> no, holy shit. That's bad. There's another one, but Maybe it's just a defiant strike. <laughs> Interestingly, that was a reason to let them scry first. Holy shit. Holy shit. <clears throat> Ten seven I take well a lot. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, I'll die to a spell, but it's quite one top, so that's a bit rough. Scribe top anyway, so he would have drawn the God's Willing. Holy shit, I'm feeling deeply violated after this much. If I only had a smuggler copter to be colorless and accompany me. Mostly provide mental cushion. Mental cushion. Boros, yeah. Boros just. Boros doesn't need to struggle to hit his third land drop. It's just as simple as that. Why do I think that Giganta is better than Shouldred? Well, why do you think I think that? I'll show you a graph that might explain something. See, Shouldred, Shouldred here, Giganta. Giganta here. Shouldred here. Giganta here. So... Yeah. Holy shit, prime time. Another explanation for that is that I net decked. And I don't actually have a strong 
opinion on playing Jolred or not. It seems very reasonable not to play it. Prime time at a bar. Device dollar fine pound. Pound back dollar. What else? I mean, coin is not a currency. And you can try. Yeah, it's not even two away. So this is just a so-called Zmilka. <clears throat> it didn't even say one away, so it's not, not about that, but I guess Sterling. Prime time at bar device dollar fine pound torch back coin quality quality prime fine fine dining create sterling percent invent coin back torch device dollar pound bar at time coin pound sterling dollar that's not gonna be it it tells you if you are one away so let's try to find something else that we have three adjectives that say that something is great sterling can mean great all right let's see i have not heard it used in that context but that wouldn't be the first time device dollar bar pound let's shuffle dollar device bar invent back at time create percent coin torch pound Hmm. Coin invent device create. That's very good. No, it actually did work. So, <clears throat> coin, why coin? You can coin a phrase, for example. I don't know if you can coin anything else than that, but you can invent a new saying and coin a phrase. <clears throat> Back at time bar percent dollar torch pound. Think coin is like one's water. It is, but you can also back dollar pound are all currencies. Yes, we would need a fourth one. Dollar percent at pound. Why? What's what's it not? Symbols above numbers on a keyboard. Holy shit! No way. There's no pound on my keyboard though. Unless that's pound, that's a pound. But no, it's not. Bar time torch back. Pass the bar, pass the back. Pass the cock. Hashtag zoomer, thanks. Now I understand what that was. Now with this much time until next round, you could play an Amalia round or play Portalos. So Portalos it is gonna be. Holy shit, the Valve guy is looking at me. <coughs> 
Where's the orange cam? Oh no. Let's rack the Scranger base. It's obviously a, an extremely strong Magic the Gathering deck in the format of Pioneer. But I'm not necessarily discovering anything new by telling you that, right? Or rather, you're not discovering anything new by me telling you that. It's just how it is. Get ready for the jump. Brace yourself, Strat. You two are gonna love you braced this really well. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. You'll love it until you until it kills you to your death. <laughs> All right. I don't know whether you're uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, yes. but. Fuck you, turrets. That wouldn't be the solution then. So maybe I can. Maybe there's something above the turrets to pull them <laughs> into the air. No, it doesn't quite seem like it. <clears throat> I could suck myself in. Oh, I don't think I can actually suck myself. I need a box. To get the box, I would need to move past those. All right. Uh. 
Huh. Good point, so many dynamos. I see. <laughs> oh, that's tiring. Hmm. Maybe I don't see. Not just yet. <laughs> this here. This here. Die. <clears throat> Die. <laughs> oh, sorry. Die. <laughs> oh, sorry. Holy shit, I can just get to the other side. I have failed to think with portals. It is high jump, but it is not that high. <laughs> oh, sorry. But I can't come back from this spot. And I need to come back to calm on the turrets. Oh holy shit, jumping in the tunnel. Guys, you're genius. Oh shit.
reverse gun. Deploy cam. Cam deployed. Stop looking for one second and it's all over. Alright, saved it. It saved the cam progress. What now? So I don't get a box. Not that I need a box. Hop. Hop. Hmm. Get into the cam stream. But also not quite. And it is not that it achieves anything. Oh, you solved it. Good, good one. Good for you. I think it comes to by like which TOS. Please point me to the exact rule in the TOS that I am breaking right now. Then I'll agree with you. But as far as I know, it is perfectly within. Dying to know what your big surprise is. Well. Only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Reason. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay. Credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid, unworkable plans. That was a pretty well laid trap. You probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. He found the coil printed testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you... Holy shit, he actually killed me. Wheatley succeeded with his plan. I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. Huh. 
Oh. I'll bet you're both dying to know what your big surprise is. Well, only two more chambers. We're running out of time. I think I can break us out of here in the next chamber. Just play along. Surprise! We're doing it now. Okay. Credit where it's due. For a little idiot built specifically to come up with stupid and workable plans, that was a pretty well laid trap. You probably figured it out by now, but I don't need you anymore. I found two little robots back here, built specifically for testing. Oh no. He found the cooperative testing initiative. It's something I came up with to phase out human testing just before you escaped. It wasn't anything personal, just, you know, you did kill me. There's fair. Well, this is the part where he kills us. Hello! This is the part where I kill you! Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's deadly, but what's missing? What's missing? And I thought, lots of sharp bits welded onto the flat bits. It's still a work in progress, don't judge me yet. Um, but, you know, eventually, I'd like to get them to, to sort of shoot fire at you um, moments before crushing you. That's, the sort of, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but, you know, small steps. Oh, and don't bother trying to portal out of here, because it's impossible. Okay, I've thought of everything. Uh, what? Conversion gel. It's dripping. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't. Stand right here. Stand. Start the machine. Start the machine. Start the machine. Where do you go? Come back. Come back. Holy shit. We almost no, died. Seriously, do come back. Please. Come back, please. Okay, look. I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Okay? If you come back. Oh, just thinking back to the old times, the old days when we were friends, good old friends, not enemies. And I would say something like, come back, and he'd be like, yeah, no problem, and he'd come back. What happened to those days? I can't help but notice that you're not coming back. Which is disappointing. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes, yes, in your face, I've got armor! Fine, let the game oh, shit. begin. Holy shit, there is a crouch button, control. I don't know. Oh, up here. Sure. Ha! Death trap! Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Silently killing you, probably. If I had to guess. Um, perhaps the turrets have found a way to use garrots. That would explain the, the extremely quiet killing that I'm hearing. 
Safety turret, no dying, talking. But not dead. Stomp once. If you're dead, just obviously no stomps. And two stomps if you're not dead. All right. So let me just run through it again. If you're dying but not dead, stop just once. If you're dead, obviously. You're... Ah! Was that your bullet? Riddle bullet flying out of the room. It went. Oh, those were the crap turrets, weren't they? Well, no matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defective. Ace of fours, the best hand. Unbeatable, I would imagine. I think the turrets are cute. They actually are. Oh, I see. Clever. Very I do actually clever. think so, yeah. And foolish. Spinning blade wall. Machiavelli. Holy shit, I died. Yet another trap laid down by Whitley, but. I do have to play a round of Magic the Gathering, so he wins this time. I can feel the 3 1 score coming to me. Guess I have to pee first. Hmm, 14 days ago Ragdos midrange. Very cool. I think I misspelled scavenging Ooze in the title. Well, think again because you're on Sky Nomad. This hand probably shouldn't be kept against Yorion Sky Nomad. This is good. Oh no, they will use Field of Ruin on as soon as turn 2. With Sunken Citadel. Keeping push. 
That might have been unwise, yeah. If, now that you say that. Now that you're saying it. Gonna have what? Portable hall? Or are you just kidding? I mean, I don't know, like, don't they play, like, Shark Typhoon, so I can keep the push? Holy guacamole, that is another restless Anchorage. One, two, three... Four. I'll just since villain has verdict, right? So and it's many lands. Not anymore. Demolition field. Still, let's take the fatty. Verdict seems pretty bad. We take free damage here. Unless they ditch verdict, but that seems poor. Can I take six damage? So next time I just escape Croxa and it either discards so it like the verdict is not scary. Oh canister wins, cool. Holy snap, Croxa was nice, this prelim. I've really enjoyed it. Also, a copter looked not so bad, but it's gonna be bad into hmm. some of their cards. Why four trespasser? In which matchup does it shine? I don't know, that's just like how I feel when I play Pioneer. I play against the Gregor Trespasser and I just explode and die every single time. No matter what I play, Phoenix, non-Phoenix, it's all the same, I get destroyed. Amalia Phoenix Any Yorion deck I ever played Keep I Crocs you Fires Hose Outlaws is confirmed for April 19, one week before the Pro Tour Founder Junction, which is standard plus OTJ draft. OTJ? That sounds normal. 
Just one week? This sucks. This is awesome. Yeehaw! Holy shit, the variety of... It's one week less. Sure. I mean... Sure, if we can buy the cars, then it's gonna be good. Of course, you will not. Let's keep... Take the four mana card. I could ignore it, but maybe not. Seems a bit tough to ignore. Ooh. NT, Seneschal of the Sun. Next one I can foresee myself to draw a card with NT. That sounds rather good if you ask me. Oh, Graveyard Trespasser. This is insanely good. What do we ditch? Probably Bone Crusher Giant or a land. It's the J land. If I hit a land, I'll be happy. I just get my counter and that's good. Yeah. If I ditch Kuroxa and I hit a discard spell, I waste my mana and now I can play Kuroxa. And my opponent's hand seemed fairly vulnerable to Kuroxa too. Because they like have three five drops. Well, maybe that... That means that Croxa is trading for a fighter, which is good value, is what I mean. Play the Trespasser, they drew Supreme Verdict, and they are truly Supreme. <laughs> Not so Supreme now, buddy. I guess Kroxa doesn't actually do anything. I'd probably keep land. I'd probably discard Kroxa now. Because I'll go Fortsis plus free drop. Or Fortsis Harvester. Five five. Holy shit, what a hand. I take your Verdict Supreme and play another creature. Seems clearly worth it to play Sunken Citadel. Holy shit, that was the easiest match I have ever played. And the only loss this prelim was versus Heroic where I think I got monstrously unfortunate. They did not play a single card throughout the entire match. They played no spells game one, right? Yeah, just field, 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 die to Kroxa. They could have played the verdict, it wouldn't do anything, but they actually, yeah, they actually played zero cards and died. 
Holy shit. What a deck. I have to say, Graveyard Trespasser was the best card ever this prelim, but it also didn't do anything. Fourth season by extension, Lorven was a mistake. Holy shit, we're going to back to Lorven next year, by the way, so we're going to get fourth season too. Did I miss Joel Dread? I don't know. I think if you have no Joldred, then your opponent, your Phoenix playing opponent, can board out Axe against you. And it's actually kind of bad for you because the Axe is like not particularly great, but Croxa was awesome and Croxa works better with cheaper stuff. Croxa doesn't work that well with Fortress Passer. I can't exile my creatures with Croxa. I need to keep them for Croxa, so it's a bit stinky. But I was certainly impressed by Kuroxa and the greater ease with which it can be discarded now. Fable, Blood, Copter, NT. It's pretty nice. Also, Kroxa combines really well with NT discard to give trample is a good combination. Now, weak cards were Dumping Sphere because I hadn't played against Lotus Field. Uh, and Muta Vault for accompanying Haunted Ridge. And Copter for being useless that one game, so I would only play two Copter. Because I drew free and I couldn't screw it and then it was really bad. If you were to play Buster over Copter Main, what would you do with the cyborg slots? I don't know. I'll think about it. In the meanwhile, I urge for you to stay hydrated. And... Then just that. I'll see you back on Thursday. I wish this deck could play one drop. Well, I see 8-1 mana cards in there, so... Take care.